Here is a real life example solved through the concept of complementary angles. This is an example of two plane mirrors placed perpendicular to each other reflecting light. So we can see in the figure, these are two plane mirrors kept perpendicular to each other and they are reflecting light. The value of x is how many degrees? So here in this question, we need to find the value of x. Reflection of light is a real life phenomena. We know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So if we consider point O, OP is the normal at this point, this is a normal to the surface of the mirror, then this is angle of incidence and this the angle of reflection. Both these angles are equal. Similarly, if we consider point L, then LQ is the normal here and this angle is the angle of incidence and this angle is the angle of reflection. Both these angles also are equal. Now the question is, how do we connect this angle which the incident ray makes with the mirror which is 50 degrees with this angle X which we have to find out which the final ray makes with the mirror. We can call this angle I1 and this angle as R1. This is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection at point O. Both are equal and this angle we can call as I2 and this as R2. These two are also equal. So we can write here that I1 is equal to R1 and I2 is equal to R2. And here this angle is 90 degrees because PO is normal to the mirror if this complete angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 50 degrees, that means I1 will be 40 degrees. So writing I1 as 40 degrees, if I1 is 40 degrees, then R1 is equal to I1, so R1 will also be equal to 40 degrees. Here, if we look at point O, then this angle also is 90 as OP is the normal to the surface of the mirror and if this angle is 40 then the remaining angle here will be 50 degrees. If we call this point as X then we can say that XOL is a right angle triangle because it is given in the question that the two mirrors are perpendicular to each other. So if this angle is 90 then this angle of 50 degree and this angle here should also add up to 90 because in a triangle sum of all the three angles is 180 degrees. So that means if this is 50 then this will be 40 degrees. Once again we can see here that QL is the normal that means this complete angle will be 90 so if this is 40 then this I2 here should be 50. So writing 50 degrees here and if I2 is 50 degrees then R2 should also be equal to 50 degrees because angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And once again QL is the normal here if this complete angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 50 that means X will be 40 degrees. So therefore X here is equal to 40 degrees which we had to find out in the question. So value of X is 40 degrees. So for solving this question along with properties of angles we made use of law of reflection that is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. I hope that you understood the relevance of complementary angles in real life situations around us and how we use the principles of physics that is laws of reflection combined with concepts of complementary angles to solve the problem.